as you can see here, I've got three light meters. I think I've only uh, got a third of a stop calibration on the Lumu dome, which uh, plugs into an uh, iPhone. And um, getting high consistency at different angles and different distances between it and uh, my professional little light meters. I got a 758 DRU and 858 DRU Sekonic here, which is the best that money can buy. So, the only thing that's actually substantially off on the Lumu. And uh, I would use that for my professional light meter anyway, is my T1 time, my graph for a flash duration. Flash duration. Uh, this is uh, definitely inaccurate. And there's no calibrating that. T1 time is incredibly consistent and accurate on Sekonic 858. So this is it. This is the little unit that plugs in and out. We have a. Um, a color meter here, and we have a conventional light meter, which is a couple photo sites, really. Here, yeah, oddly enough, it's made in Slovenia. So polycarbonate. Whoops! There we go. Drop it on my phone. Polycarbonate and stainless steel comes with a little leather pouch, which you know I don't know why it would come with a leather pouch. I mean, I do know why, but I mean, you would lose. If you were to lose the unit, you would definitely lose it in its little leather pouch. It snaps together like that. Yep, 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 yep. So I'm going to do some more testing with it and uh, post the review later on the, the Lumu. Lumu. It sounds... sounds... slightly strange name. Not that that matters at all, so... Thanks for watching. Everybody been asking me to test this little sucker out since I'm definitely the king of light meters, at least on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye.